Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... The beast approaches. Oh, I know. these past five years. And not gonna let this happen again. He dies today! I saw it. It's lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down! You know what? I want to prove that point. Let's go back to faith. Nothing will get in my way now. Where? There we go. You are not going out of here alive. Still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. 
By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us, and really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. I think we have found this one before. That's unfortunate. Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. Oh, let's check out the shanks. 900 gold. Gold Moonflower Seed, nice. So, before we go talk to Devola and Popola, let's check around town a little bit. And here's our garden. I have just started growing. Trying to... Oh, wait. Oh my god. Holy shit. Is this... This is it. This is a learned year. This is literally the first time I try to do a, a field of peach and pink. This is amazing. So, off camera, I'm going to actually grab this for the achievement, but I'm going to throw a suggestion to you if you're trying to do this quest. Just let it wither and die because it will give you seeds and do that a couple more times. And then, if you want, you can have an entire garden of Lunar Tears, which I'll probably do at some point. They sell for, I think, 5,000. It's not exactly, like, profitable in the strictest sense, but, you know, it's free money. It's over there. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to talk to Devil and all. But before we do that, I wanted to talk to a little bit more of the villagers and see how they're doing. I try to be careful to avoid the quests. But yeah, let's go talk to some more people. How are you doing, Mutton Lady? Been a while. Another hunter has gone missing. I'm so worried about my husband. 
Yeah, our infinite quest doesn't really exist anymore. Why can't I leave the shopping district to play? It's not fair! Yeah. Things have been so hard since my husband went away. If you don't hunt, you starve. But if you do hunt, the shades sneak up and kill you. I really hate this place. So as you can see, the dialogue has definitely shifted. The shopping district sucks. It's small, crowded, and all the old people smell funny. Let's go find some more people to talk to. What about you? What's up, man? If you happen upon any sheep or boar during your travels, we could really use the meat. Yeah. What's up with you, Timer? How are you doing? Oh, now that I do all my shopping in one trip, this stuff is getting heavy. Here is the signs of our failure. The gate is now broken. That's one of the very few permanent changes, I believe, in the overall environment. What's up with you? A lot of library books were ruined after the ceiling fell in. It's a real shame. Yeah, things have definitely gotten a tonal shift to the worse. But, who knows, maybe we can help everyone out, at least a little bit. So let's go talk to Devlin and see what's up. Hey. Oh, uh, hi. I kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, alright? Alright. So, I went back and I took a look at how this whole section plays out in the original. And there is a... There continues to be, I guess I should say, a rather drastic tonal difference between the way that Brother Nier deals with it and the way that Father Nier does. And the flower wasn't in any of Davila's books, so she said I could name it whatever I want. Maybe I'll name it after Nier. The father character is surprisingly more violent. He even has a line about wanting to strangle Popola. It's it's really visceral in a way. But yeah, let's go talk to Popola. Popola? Oh, hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless... Please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, ho. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So take a boat. A, a boat? Yes, the canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected, what with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> All right, I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. 
We'll try our best. The difference between the two characters seems to be pretty set in stone as far as I've seen so far. The path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. Sure thing. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Yeah, this is the opening of the fast travel system of the game. To be honest, I never really use it much in the original game. Because you always have to be hunting for items and killing enemies and like the... While the fast travel system is convenient for sure, it is also one of those things that is... It is a help, but it's also a penalty in some sort. So it's... I don't know, I'm kind of iffy on it. But yeah, let's go talk to this gentleman here. Oh, it's our head rare friend. What's up, man? How are you been? Hey, look who it is. Remember me? That red bag. By my pages, you're the slovenly half of that couple who refused to stop arguing. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal since we last talked. Apparently, I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. Oh, yeah, huh? Congrats. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how much I work. Anyway, if you got a place to be, just let me know and I'll take you there. Sure thing. So, let's go to the Lost Shrine, I guess. Travel to the Lost Shrine rear path. Yep. Let's go. Once I finish my secret dish, I'm gonna feed it to Nier. Then he'll see how helpful I can be. The Lost Shrine's up ahead, just past this cave. As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste. Yes. Where are we actually? Oh, so this this is the entrance to the junkie. We are basically just crossing this bay over here. And we can see some shades over there in the distance. We can probably take care of that later. Let's do our journey to the Lost Shrine, no? I continue to be impressed by this this area of the game. This looks really good. But yeah, the thing with the two characters. So I said this from the from the beginning, and it's like I feel like the broader character has some has some ways to go in terms of how to say this, actually representing the the best story for the game, I am pretty attached to the father character. And while I'm not opposed on principle to the brother character, I do think the father was a stronger narrative. Obtain the spear, the devil queen. Okay. Let's check this out a little bit really quickly. So weapons, it was a spear, the devil queen. Your details. The favorite spear of a mad queen whose lust for power led her to kill all of her son's wives. The shape and the overall line. It feels like I should remember this weapon from Drakengard, but I'm not sure I do. Maybe the story will enlighten us, so let's check it out. This story takes place in a small country at around the same latitude as a northernmost member of a nation of city-states that are a part of a region with a village that is attempting to establish a trade agreement with another village on a tiny island in the ocean south of a country that used to have an alliance with a republic next to a kingdom where a queen resided. Well, that wasn't helpful at all. Thank you. That was, that was great. So, <laughs> maybe next time. You know what? 
since I'm here, I'm gonna do some word editing. Uh, what am I gonna use? I'm actually gonna switch to the Kusanagi back. So equip passwords, attack power 15, item drop rate 12, nice. And what do we have for magic? Dark lance, passwords, magic power, minus MP cost, good. Um, passwords. I want to use more different magic. Maybe dark execution could be a good one. Just like batch assign, no, no. Equip passwords and then batch assign everything. There we go. Uh, so, what are the best words here? Guard resistance and physical defense. So, maybe here we could have. What is this? Physical strength, nice. Are the words the same? Yeah. No, I want a physical strength plus 12%. That's pretty good. And let's see what else we can get here. Magic defense is 6%. That's pretty good. Oh no, magic defense is already. No. Oh. Yeah, this is right. Okay, good. I've never really shown this before, but here is the status screen where we can see that we actually have stats for attack, defense, magic attack, and magic defense. Our magic defense is really, really low, and our magic attack is really strong, wow. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, good to know. So, let's keep moving. <laughs>